Hey guys, today we're gonna to be checking out the Alpaca Elements Backpack Pro, which is a really sleek 26 liter all-purpose bag. I've had great experiences with Alpaca's original Elements Backpack and their travel backpack, so very excited to see a bag that falls kind of in the middle of those two. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience testing it over the past couple of weeks. I'll show you how I've loaded it out, walk through all the features, and I'll also talk about how it compares to some of the other similar bags that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the overall aesthetic, the look here is very reminiscent of the other bags in the Elements lineup. So it's got a really sleek, modern look fairly minimal. This feels like it's going to blend in really well into a variety of environments, whether you're going into the office, walking around the city, or traveling. As far as the materials, the bag feels really solidly built. It's offered in a couple of different fabrics. I believe there's an 840D ballistic nylon, an X-Pack, and the version that I have here is a 600D recycled fabric that feels like it's going to hold up well to rougher usage and offer a decent amount of weather resistance without feeling overly heavy. And then you also have some really nice aqua guarded YKK zippers all throughout. Continuing along the outside of the bag, I was happy to see that you have two external water bottle pockets, one on each side. These offer a good amount of capacity. Currently what I have in this one is a 26 ounce Yeti Rambler. You can see that this is really kind of stretching it out to its max capacity. Uh, it doesn't quite go all the way down, but it's still a good size compartment for a 20 ounce bottle. It'll easily fit in there as well as umbrellas and things like that, but happy to see that it can still handle something a little bit bulkier like this. You have some elasticity here to give you the flexibility that allowed that bottle to fit into there. And then that also helps pull the pocket close to the bag when it's not in use to maintain a cleaner look. At the top of the bag, you have a pretty nice carrying handle. This has a good amount of padding. It's got kind of a seatbelt-like material here. Very easy to get your hand in. And I like that this doesn't come up too far over the top of the bag, so it maintains a pretty just subdued appearance and it still feels pretty comfortable even when the bag is a little bit more packed out. I was a little sad to see that there's no side carrying handles, which I know not everybody uses um, and maybe not a deal breaker, uh, but it does make it a little bit harder to use the luggage pastor that I'll show later in the video. And then on the front, you have the really subtle alpaca branding here. So I really like the approach here. It's kind of out of the way, it's small. One last call out while we're talking about the outside is that the bottom of the bag is fairly flat and wide. So it does have the ability to stand up on its own. I found this to be a little bit inconsistent depending on how you load it out, especially since the bag seems to lean forward a little bit. Um, but still, when you place it down, if you have everything well balanced, it can be used in that manner. And then moving into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 26 liters, which is a really versatile size in my opinion. It's on the larger end of what some people might like for an EDC, but for me it worked really great for holding the items that I typically carry with me. And I like that even when it's a little bit more packed out, it never feels overly bulky. It still maintains a pretty slim profile and hugs my back nicely, making it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping on the public transit, and carrying onto pretty much any domestic or international airline. Taking a look at the harness system, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. I like how the straps have been implemented here. Similar to Alpaca's other bags, there's a nice amount of padding that's really soft and comfortable right out of the box. On the inside, you have this sort of interesting pattern here that's got kind of some ridges. This is very typical to Alpaca's bags. The fabric here is soft. It's not maybe quite as breathable as the one that we'll see on the back panel, but so far I haven't noticed any issues. And these straps also have a good width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. I like the contoured shape of the shoulder straps. And then you also have a couple of attachment points where you can maybe hang your sunglasses or clip on some of Alpaca's uh, modular accessories that they sell separately from the bag. And you also have an adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. I like that this has a magnetic buckle to make it easy to get this on and off. One thing to call out here is this system, I've noticed with a couple of different bags, can sometimes be a little bit of a risk point as far as the sternum strap falling off accidentally. So far, I haven't noticed any issues, but it's something that you'll wanna be aware of as you're using the bag. And then moving into the back paneling, this has also been really comfortable. I like the padding that's been included here. It's well distributed throughout the back really robust. I like that this one has this sort of air mesh that's gonna be a little more breathable than what we saw on the straps. And then that there's, there's elevation here to create some airflow while you're walking around throughout the day. The last thing I'll call out here on the back is that you have a nice luggage pass-through that's gonna allow you to rest this on a suitcase while traveling to save some weight on your back. 
Jumping into the organizational options, the bag has a nice variety of pockets all throughout. Starting off at the front, you have a kind of hidden zippered quick access pocket. It has this lid that kind of comes over the front of the zipper. This provides some additional protection against the elements and it's hard to tell that there's even a zipper there. So you can access this very quickly. This doesn't have a ton of space. This is definitely for smaller, flatter items that you're grabbing during the day. In my case, I currently have my AirPods here. I have an extra cable to charge my phone. And then I also have a deck of playing cards, which is kind of the same size as a power bank, which is the other type of item that I would have in a pocket like this. At the top of the bag, you have another really nice quick access pocket, very well protected zipper here. I like that it has the zipper garage as well and good amount of space in this pocket. Currently what I have here is my sunglasses with their case. So even with a bulkier case like that, it was still able to fit in there comfortably. One nice thing about this compartment is that it also has a soft fleece lining to help prevent against scratching for more sensitive items. So it's gonna be great for tossing in your phone or some glasses without a case, particularly while you're rushing through TSA. On the front of the bag, you also have a larger admin style compartment that has a lockable zipper. And this opens up pretty wide so that you can take full advantage of the organization that's built into the compartment here. You can also start to see the lighter inner lining of the bag, which provides a good bit of visibility. Always nice in the larger bag in particular as things might slide down near the bottom. And so really like the layout here, starting off before getting into the internal pockets, you'll notice that there's sort of this area here that's a catch-off place that you can put a pouch or a jacket, a dot kit when you're traveling. Always nice to just be able to quickly access that type of thing. At the moment, what I have here is the Alpaca Admin Pouch, which I featured in a couple of other videos that has some tech and EDC items that I normally have with me. This doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, but still enough volume to be useful. And then on the back, you have a couple of slip pockets starting off on the right. This one has enough space to hold something like my Apple Magic Mouse. Not a ton of elasticity here, but still I like the amount of capacity that's provided. You have a single slot for something like a pen or a stylus. And then next to that, you have another larger slip pocket, which had more than enough space to hold my laptop charger. And then above that, you have an additional zippered pocket that doesn't go all the way down. Uh, but it'll still be a good spot to hide items that you don't want floating around as easily in the bag. At the moment, the only thing that I have here is a wallet. And then on the other side of this compartment, you have a little bit of webbing that you can use to clip on EDC accessories like I have here. So I have just a flashlight as well as the James brand pocket knife that I've been using as of late. But these also pair with some of the clips and accessories that Alpaca sells as part of their modular ecosystem. And then behind that, you have another zippered compartment. This one, I didn't place anything into because I wanted to you know, save the space for actually holding the items that I had clipped on, but good amount of volume here. And you also have a hidden AirTag compartment. So this is a little bit more out of the way so that it's not as easy to discover. Always nice to see this included. And then above that, you have a smaller kind of a mesh zippered compartment that still has enough space to hold something like this anchor wall adapter, which I always like to have with me, and then one of the flashlights that I've been using as of late. And then taking a look at the main compartment, this also has a lockable zipper to give you a little bit more peace of mind while you're on the go or traveling. This is a top loading bag, so it doesn't open up fully flat, but it still opens up wide enough so that you can grab whatever you need to. Again, you have the high contrast lining, which is really nice to be able to see into the bag itself. And at 26 liters, it was able to hold the types of things that I would normally carry with me. So in here, I have my packable rain jacket. I have my drone. I also have down at the bottom, the Evergoods Civic Access Pouch, two liters. And I still had room for a couple of additional things if I'd wanted to add them. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. And I like that even though this is a fairly slim bag, this does come up enough to be able to handle some bulkier items. It could also be used for minimal travel. If you wanted to toss in a packing cube, a dot kit, an extra pair of shoes, you could use this for a weekend trip. And then on the back, you have dedicated tablet and laptop sleeves. Taking a look at the tablet sleeve first, on the inside, it's got a soft material to help preventing it scratching. The sleeve itself isn't super padded or rigid, but it is pulled up off the bottom of the ground, so it does feel like it's gonna provide some protection for your tablet. Currently, what I have in here is an iPad mini. You can see that it kind of gets swallowed up in there. It could definitely hold a full-size tablet comfortably. And then 
Behind that, you have some more rows of webbing, again, to pair with alpacas, accessories, or anything else that you wanna clip onto here. Because this is so close to my devices, I didn't really wanna put additional things to make it harder to get my tablet and laptop in and out as I'm grabbing those regularly. And then on the back, as mentioned, you have the dedicated laptop compartment. Nice amount of padding here. The sleeve is more rigid and thick than the one we saw for the tablet. This is able to hold a 15 or 16 inch laptop comfortably. Currently what I have here is a 13 inch MacBook Air, but you can see there's plenty of leftover space here. I like that you have a soft lining on the back to help preventing it scratching. And this is properly suspended off the bottom of the ground. So if you place your laptop in a little bit harder, your device won't be making contact. So that's always gonna give me a little bit more peace of mind. And so pulling my laptop out, now with the sleeve empty, you can get a better look at the inside. Unfortunately, there's no fleece lining on the front, similar to what we saw on the tablet sleeve, which might've been a nice addition, but this does come up a decent amount. So if you happen to have a thicker device or you wanna use a case with your laptop, it should be able to fit in there comfortably. And again, with the amount of padding that's offered here and the fact that it's suspended, it really feels like my devices are gonna be well protected while I'm running around throughout the day. And I just really like the amount of space that's offered here and the simpler layout of the main area and just the layout throughout the rest of the bag. Really nice variety of organization, very comfortable to wear. And if you're looking for a durable and sleek kind of all-purpose bag that will keep your tech and essentials organized and protect, then this is gonna be a really solid option to take a look at. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Alpaca Elements Backpack Pro over the past couple of weeks. You can currently purchase this on the company's site for around $170, which to me feels like a pretty reasonable price considering the features and the build quality that it has to offer. It's gonna compare well to some of the other similar bags in this price range. And Alpaca has also provided me a discount code, which I'll be including in the description below if you wanna check this out. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of is the Air City Pack Pro, which has been one of my favorite tech and EDC bags of the past couple of years. Just a really sleek, modern style. Great build quality, one of the most comfortable harness systems that I've used, great laptop protection, a really nice organizational layout. Reminds me a little bit of this bag here. Uh, so just a great alternative if you're looking for a bag in this size range that's also gonna offer a clamshell style opening so it packs very easily for you know your day-to-day -day or minimal travel. So if that's what you kind of prefer and you want something with this type of a vibe and a great build quality, then that's gonna be an awesome option to take a look at. Another bag this made me think of is the Filson Dryden backpack, which is a really versatile bag. It comes in at around 28 liters, so it might feel slightly bigger than this, but a really nice organizational layout. It's comfortable to wear. It's got a luggage pass-through, a dedicated laptop compartment. That one has a little bit more of a heritage or old school style vibe in my opinion. So if you're looking for a bag that's kind of like this, it's got a lot of functionality, but that has a little more of that old school feeling, then the Filson Dryden is gonna be an excellent option to consider. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Evergood CTB26, which has quickly become one of my favorite bags of all time. The functionality on that is just really, really impressive. It comes in at around 26 liters, so in theory, it's pretty close in size to this, but it feels a little bulkier, in my opinion. It has a clamshell style opening, so it can really pack out a lot of stuff. It's very easy to organize. The pocket layout on that is one of my favorites of any bag. It just has a very well laid out quick access all throughout. You have the clamshell style opening, a dedicated laptop compartment that's gonna be really protective. The harness system is very comfortable and breathable. It's got a great luggage pasture, so it just checks off all the boxes for what I'm typically looking for. And if you're interested in a bag that's got a very kind of minimalistic, versatile look, uh, that's gonna check off a lot of the same boxes as this one, but that's also gonna be maybe a little more travel friendly with the clamshell style opening. And if you have a little bit of a higher budget, and that is one of the best options that you can take a look at. With that being said, the Elements Backpack Pro holds up really well against all those options. And if you're looking for a comfortable and versatile kind of all-purpose bag that's gonna offer plenty of organization and protection for your essentials, and that's also gonna come in at under $200, and this is gonna be a really great option to take a look at. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the Elements Backpack Pro and how it compares to some of the other popular tech and EDC bags that are currently on the market. And if there's any similar options that you think that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.